Whatever this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash up together both logos. Okay, we've got Pringles and Doritos. Wait, okay, this is perfect, let's go. Okay, my idea for this is to take this shape right here and turn that into the bow tie. So kind of like two of those. And then maybe even for the mustache, make it be like in the style of this part right here. So the first thing I need to do is carefully erase everything that says Doritos until I can just get that shape. Okay, I've got it erased. Now I just need to cover up the rest of it with black. Okay, I duplicated it. Now I'm gonna flip it horizontally to make the bow tie. All right, in Photoshop, I grabbed just the Pringles guy head and now I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, I basically took the Doritos font and then the Pringles font and I'm just gonna stretch this. Okay, I added that tiny red line and a black stroke around it all and here's what we're working with. Finally, using the pen tool, I wanna kind of recreate these little shapes like this. Okay, this might be my favorite mashup I've ever done. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logos this lands on, I'm gonna mash them together to make one super logo. Okay, we've got... NASA and oh, the Pepsi logo. Okay, wait, this is perfect, let's go. I mean, I think we know what must be done. No, not literally, but my idea is to put these colors as the background to the NASA logo. So let's get going. I'm gonna start by removing all the letters in the Pepsi logo. I'm gonna go ahead and recreate this red shape with the pen tool, just because I'm gonna have to remove the NASA letters as well. Okay, so now I can go ahead and remove the letters since I have that line over top. I found a very similar font called Bambi, and I'm gonna type out the name, which I'm calling Napsy. The last thing to do is just add the Pepsi logo and and here is the final result. This actually will be a really, really cool collab between the two companies. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. I'm gonna let this filter pick two random logos and then I'm gonna combine them into one super logo. Okay, first we're gonna do Target. Okay, and MasterCard. Okay, wait. These two are perfect. I'm already seeing the vision. Are you seeing it? Okay, I really couldn't have asked for a better one for the filter to give me because it's pretty obvious what we have to do. We have to put that Target logo here, make it yellow and put it here, and mix them in the middle. Okay, my first step is I'm gonna make two of the Target logos and make them the exact width apart. And I'm gonna dye one that exact red and the other that exact, oops, and the other that exact yellow. Then I'm gonna select that orange slice here and color in all of the overlap on both of them. And here is the final result. This one is definitely a little bit simpler, but I actually love the final result. I really couldn't have asked for two more perfect logos to combine. I think the result looks really cool. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Let's combine some logos. Whatever this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together in Photoshop. Okay, we've got Universal and Disneyland. Okay, wait, this is actually perfect. Let's go. Okay, they're both black and white. I'm thinking what we do is call it Universal Land. <laughs> kind of match together these different fonts. And then I'm thinking we take the castle and like place it on the map. Okay, I'm gonna select just the D and mask it out. I'm gonna place that D right there as well as land. And I'm just gonna skew it down like that. Now I'm just gonna take the castle and scale it down, place it right here, and here is the final result. I think this looks a little crazy. It's definitely very long. But overall, I'm happy with how everything turned out, and I think this is a really good mashup considering they're both parks. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logos these land on, I'm gonna mash them together to create one super logo. Okay, first we have Starbucks mixed with Spirit Halloween. Okay, let's go. Okay, my initial idea is we make the background of this be this green color, put her face on his face and maybe add in some fins down here at the bottom to match that. I selected the guy and now I'm just gonna draw a green circle. Okay, now I'm just gonna paint over his face and I'm gonna drag in the face from the Starbucks logo. Oh my gosh. I also wanna make these parts down here look like little tails. So I'm gonna grab the part from the Starbucks logo. So I'm gonna remove that. What I do want to say is of the C because 
she's supposed to be like a mermaid. Here is that all complete. This one is definitely one of the crazier ones I've ever done, but I love her little face. I love the spooky vibes we got with this one right before Halloween. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna let this filter pick two random logos and whatever we get, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, first we've got Google, okay, and the Olympics. Okay, wait, I have some ideas. Okay, right off the bat, my initial thoughts are, what if we make these top three rings be like the O, O, and G in the logo? So let me resize that real quick. Okay, let's move it into position. Yes, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna make the Google logo be a little less opaque so we can see what we're working with. Okay, I'm thinking we make this first one be red, and then the second one, blue just to match the Google logo a little better. Now using the pen tool, I'm just gonna draw in kind of where the G would be. Perfect. Now back to the original logo, I just need to erase these letters and here's the final result. I think this looks really cool and I'm actually surprised Google hasn't done something like this for the Olympics in the past. This might be one of the most realistic like logos I could see in the real world from any of my mashups so far. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna let this filter pick two random logos and whatever they land on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, first we have Ford, okay, and next, Volkswagen. Okay, wait, two car logos? I think I have an idea. Okay, right off the bat, I'm noticing these are almost the exact same colors, and I'm going with the flattened versions of the logos because that's like technically what their logos are. So my first step is just to erase the word Ford completely, just like that. I found a font called Ford Script, so I'm just gonna type out V and W in it. Okay, what I wanna do is arrange them within the Ford logo so they almost read as the Volkswagen logo looks. I've got that looking kinda how I want it. Now I'm just gonna bring in the original ORD from the Ford logo, and here is the final result. I don't know if this is one of my favorite mashups of all time, but it definitely got the point across. I'm thinking if you had to pronounce this one, it would be pronounced like V word, like, oh my word. <laughs> Something like that, I don't know. Um, like I said, it's not my favorite, but let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, first we have McDonald's, okay, with Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna use the U in the Dunkin' logo, flip it, and make that be the McDonald's art. And then I think we have to call it McDunkin'. And I'll figure out which colors to use once I get started. Okay, I'm gonna down the opacity on McDonald's so we can see it a little better. Then I'm gonna isolate the U, flip it, and resize it. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate it. And using that same M, I'm gonna bring that down to spell out McDunkin. And I use the U for the C. But I wanna make them the same pink as the little apostrophe, so I'm just gonna color those in. And lastly, I need to remove this part, and here's the final result. I love, love, love all the colors in this and how the arch looks in the Duncan font. I don't think I'd wanna eat here, but I like the logo design. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. All right, what's it gonna be? Okay, Pixar and DreamWorks. Wait, the rivalry of it all. Okay, so my initial thought is to call it PixWorks and somehow incorporate both the black and the blue into it to get both logos. And I'm envisioning the DreamWorks boy like throws out his line and then he's about to reel it in and instead of reeling in a fish, he reels in the lamp. Okay, I cut out just the word works and turned it black, and now I'm gonna do the same thing on Pixar, just masking out the beginning. Okay, I've got that all together, now I'm just gonna bring in the fishing DreamWorks boy and place it right here. Now I'm gonna flip this upside down, drag it up here, and here's the final result. The DreamWorks boy is fishing for the little lamp in the Pixar logo. This was definitely a little bit of a simpler one, but I love the overall result. It's playful, it's fun. I think it matches the two brands together perfectly. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, what are we gonna get? Okay, Burger King plus Dairy Queen. Wait, this is gonna be a perfect matchup. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is fill the red in and that's gonna become the bun. 
Then we're gonna keep the word burger and replace it with queen in the DQ font. So the first thing I need to do is just paint over any part that's white right here. I'm gonna cut it in half and then I'm gonna use the Burger King logo as a reference to place them. Okay, I've got them sandwiched like that. Now I'm gonna mask out the word burger. I found this extended logo online, so I just need to mask out the word queen from this one. I'm gonna move that into place. Lastly, I'm gonna pick up the bun color from Burger King and replace all the letters with that color and here is the final result. I could have predicted exactly what this looked like from even just the jump, but I do think it looks really cool. Also, do you think they would sell the same kind of burgers or something different? I don't know. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and if you would eat at this restaurant. Whatever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, we have Butterball and Ocean spray. Okay, wait, this is perfect for Thanksgiving. Let's go. Okay, these logos are actually a lot more similar than I thought. I'm thinking for the name, we call it butter spray. And I try to make this ocean wave look like it's made of butter. So let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna start by trying to change the hue and saturation. Oh, okay, that's kind of working on the top one. So I, what I might have to do is get this like close and then just change it like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we just need to take out the word ocean and grab the word butter. Okay, I turned it white and I'm just gonna skew it so it matches the other one and here is the final result. This one is definitely a little bit more simple, but I love the design and the colors and I just think it's a very successful logo. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, what do we have? Applebee's and Cheesecake Factory. Ooh, kind of a little rivalry going on. And I have an idea. Okay, first and foremost, when I hear Applebee's, I hear apple cheese. So I'm thinking we call it the Apple Cheese Factory and somehow mix all of this logo together. And then I wanna make the apple look like it's made out of Swiss cheese. So first I'm gonna take the word cheese and put it up here, yes. Same thing with the word the. And then fit factory right underneath all of it. Now I'm gonna make the apple yellow and add some circles to give the illusion of Swiss cheese. Drag that into the logo and here is the final result. I also mocked up what it would look like on the outside of a restaurant and it looks so cool. I love how this logo turned out. I think it looks even better when you put it on that mock-up like I did. And I just love the name and the little cheese apple. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Lego plus Snapchat. Okay, the two squares, this is gonna be perfect. Let's go. Okay, looking at these two logos, what I think I'm gonna do is kind of take the ghost from Snapchat, put it in the Lego logo, and then add all the same effects that this one has. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is recreate the red box, but I wanna click and drag the corners to recreate the rounded corners of the Snap logo. Then I'm gonna add on a stroke to get that kind of black outline going. Now I'm gonna select just the ghost and I'm gonna mask it out, and I'm gonna put it on the red background. Then I'm gonna go ahead and give that a stroke as well, and maybe make it just a little bit bigger. Finally, I'm gonna do that again, but this time yellow, and here is the final result. I love how this one looks so much. Honestly, if I saw this in a store or it was an app, I think I would buy whatever the product was. I think it has just enough of a cool factor to it, and I could honestly see this being a real logo. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Coca-Cola plus Google, okay, I see a little bit of a horizontal thing going on. Let's go. Okay, my initial thought is to keep this font, but make it say Coca Google, and then take the colors from the Google logo and just kind of make them correspond to the letters up here. So the first thing I need to do is using the pen tool, I'm gonna detach some of these letters so that I can make each one a different color. Then I can just pick up the yellow from the O and make this C be yellow. Now I'm gonna duplicate this O right here. I duplicated it again, and now I'm gonna make a circle in it for the G and draw the rest of that out with the pen tool. Now I'm gonna duplicate that O again and use that for the outline of the E. Lastly, I just need to clean up this L so that it doesn't have that missing space. And same thing with that little tail on the C and 
here's the final result. I think this turned out so cute. I wish Coca-Cola maybe had a little more color in their logo. I like the red, but something to think about. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, first we have Apple plus Android. Okay, huge rivalry here, let's go. Okay, basically what I'm thinking is we make the Apple be the same color as the Android guy, and then we kind of make it have elements from Android. So I'm just gonna make the Apple be the color green of the Android logo. Then I'm gonna move it over on top of the apple and resize it so it's exactly the same. And I'm gonna draw in this black bar right here and use the Pathfinder tool to cut it out. Then I'm just gonna draw in the two eyes. And I wanna grab the leaf and I wanna move it over so it's in the same placement as the antennas and replicate that on the other side as well. It is looking a little bare, so I wanna add back in those arms and here's the final result. This guy turned out so adorable. I just wanna see him like drinking a bubble tea or something. I don't know. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Starbucks plus Pringles. <laughs> okay, I'm already seeing what this is gonna look like. Basically thinking we use the base of the Starbucks girl, but we put the Pringles guy's face over top of where her face is. And then we'll have to do some finagling with the hair and I wanna add the bow tie back in. So I made the Pringles guy transparent and now I'm just gonna move him over where I think I want the face. <laughs> then I'm gonna select every part of the Pringles logo that's not the face and erase that part. I'm gonna make the mustache and eyes and eyebrows be green as well. I wanna add a line under here to make it stand out and I want the hair to look like it's wrapping around so I'm just gonna draw in some new hair and clean up around the edges. Final step is just to add back in that bow tie and here's the final result. I think this turned out so funny. I'm actually surprised I've never done these two combos before because I make a lot of videos with the Starbucks and Pringles one, just never together. Let me know what you think. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, what are we gonna get? NBC, okay, plus Android. All right, let's go. Okay, basically what I'm thinking is we take this little guy's head and we change the colors and put it on each of the tips of the NBC logo. And I'm thinking we call it and BC, I don't know. So first step is gonna be to resize this and put it on the top of each of these. Okay, here is what we're working with. Now I need to go through each one of these and turn them the right colors. Okay, I really like this, but I do want to find a way to differentiate the Android from the NBC. So I'm going to go ahead and add a white stroke to each of them. This is looking so funny. I love all the little creatures. Okay, last step is just to add the and in there, and here's the final result. This turned out so much funnier than I ever could have imagined with all the tiny little heads all over it. I'm not sold on the name though. Let me know if you have any other ideas and what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logos this filter lands on, I'm going to mash them together. Okay, up first we have 7-Eleven plus McDonald's. Okay, this is gonna be a good one. Oh, let's go. Okay, I think it'd be fun because this shape is almost like this shape to use this and make it into an M and do everything in the colors of the 7-Eleven logo. Maybe making it say McLevin. So first I'm gonna select this shape here. Then I'm gonna move that down here and I'm gonna duplicate it. Here's what that's looking like. Now I'm gonna take all the letters from 7-Eleven and type out Mick. Now I wanna bring in this shape up here. Now I just need to make the background green and here's the final result. I love how this one turned out. The 7-Eleven logo, something about it is still nostalgic, a little bit 70s vibe. So mixing that with McDonald's, I think just turned out really perfect. And I wish McDonald's would have a little bit more fun with their colors. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logos this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Cartoon Network plus Domino's. Okay, we have pretty good matching shapes on this one. I think I have an idea. Let's go. All right, so this is kind of a basic one, but what I'm thinking is I do the C over here in red and the N over here in blue, and then put Cartoon Network next to it. So the first thing I need to do is cover up all of the colors here. 
and grab the C. And I'm gonna make that red and then move that down over top of the blue. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the N and spin it to fit in there. Lastly, I'm gonna mask out network and type it out so it says Dominant Network. Finally, I'm going to fit it on the side of the logo and here's the final result. This one is pretty simple, but I do love the different colors and seeing that with the Cartoon Network. And I just love the new Domino's logo. So anytime I get to use it, I'm happy. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Target plus Starbucks. Okay, we've got the shapes already. Let's figure out what we're gonna do. Okay, since they both are circles, I'm thinking what we do is basically try to fit the Starbucks logo within the Target logo and try to make kind of like the outside be this kind of negative and the inside be the reverse. I don't know, I'll try it, let's go. I'm gonna lower the opacity so we can see what we're working with. Select all of the different white parts of the Starbucks logo. Okay, now if I do just the inner two circles here, then I should be able to dye all of this whole part white. Yes, that worked perfectly. This time I should be able to dye the inner part red. Color them white and here's the final result. It's really trippy, but I do think they could tweak it a bit for their cafes within Target. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Nike plus, ooh, Tesla. Okay, I'm already starting to think of some things we can do here. Let's go. Okay, basically what I'm thinking is we turn the Nike logo red and then flip this and duplicate it so that it creates this T. And then I wanna add, instead of a line like this to the top, maybe something a little more swoosh-like. So I'm gonna start by getting this perfectly straight. Then I'm gonna duplicate it and go to transform, reflect. Okay, and then I can just move that back over here. Perfect. And I'm gonna turn that red. I've got the Tesla logo in there for a reference. Now using the pen tool, I'm just going to make Make that top shape. Okay, last step is just to do the transform and reflect one more time and then move this over here. And here is the final result. This one turned out about exactly how I pictured it would in my brain. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna let this filter pick two random fast food logos and then we're gonna mash them together. All right, let's see what we get first. Ooh, I really need a haircut. Okay, we've got Sonic combined with Carl's Jr. All right, let's get going. Okay, if you look at the Sonic one, if you add a point here, it almost makes it like a star shape like this. So I'm thinking that's what I'll do in blue, and then I'll add his little face into the star, and maybe put Junior somewhere here so its name is Sonic Junior. In Illustrator, I am just adding in that extra line with the pen tool, gonna soften those edges a little bit. I made the face a vector and moved it up here, and then lastly moved the junior up here, and then I really wanted to add in some yellow, so I brought that back in, and here's the final result. Went ahead and mocked that up on a real sign, and I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna let this filter pick two random logos, and then I'm gonna mash them together. Let's see what the first one is. I remember this filter takes forever. Red Robin, okay, mixed with IHOP. Interesting, all right, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we call it I Robin, and then we can take the little smiley face and put it under the O and the B, and it'll still look like a face. So I turned both of those into vectors and moved the I and the smiley face down here. Then I thought this just needed to be a little more flush, so I changed that with the pen tool. Lastly, I went ahead and made the O and the B blue, and here's the final result. I mocked that up on the side of a building, and I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments combine whatever this logo lands on. Okay, McDonald's with Shake Shack. Interesting. All right, let's do it. I'm thinking I might draw the McDonald's arch in that kind of minimalist style and turn this bun yellow and then maybe use this lettering over here to make it say Mick Shack. Okay, on a new layer, I'm just drawing this, let's see, arch. I'm gonna make the caps be this one so it's a little more rounded. I duplicated it and I'm reflecting it. That way I can get an exact copy of that side on this side of it as well. Making this be that same yellow color. I took the A from Shake and I'm making it into this kind of M. Taking the C from Shack to make it Mick. Turn those red from the McDonald's and here's the final result. I also mocked it up. Let me know what you think in the comments.
I'm gonna let this filter pick two random restaurant logos and then I'm gonna mash them together probably in Adobe Illustrator. Let's see what we get. Oh my gosh, okay, Cheesecake Factory mixed with Applebee's. Okay, let's go. Hear me out. What if we call it Apple Cheese Factory? <laughs> and then I think I might use the C and the F and then maybe we can make the apple look like it's made of cheese or something. So first I'm gonna delete the B and move the CH up here. Then I'm duplicating this E to make it say cheese. I decided to move the up to the top as well and factory up. I made all those one color, changed the apple to cheese, and here is the final result. Mocked it up on a real restaurant and I love it. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna run this filter twice and whatever logos we get, I'm gonna mash them up. Okay, we've got Zaxby's plus Jollibee. Okay, some interesting local things, but let's do it. Am I really about to have to put this bee's head on this chicken? I think so. And then the other obvious thing I think is we gotta call it Zach's, but spell it like bees, Zach's bees. All right, let's get this monstrosity out of the way, resizing the bee's head, flip it horizontal, and perfect. Okay, I went ahead and brought that into Procreate on my iPad, and I'm just attempting to give it the same style as the bee's head. I'm just gonna bring some of the red from his head into other parts of the chicken. Now that that monstrosity is done, I found a font that's similar to the Zaxby's font called Georgia. Add that in here. And here is the final result. Did I ever think I would match up these two logos? No. Did I make something cursed? Yes. Let me know what you think in the comments.